Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Mommy Ann and the Go Ho, how are you doing? Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. I hope you're doing well. Today we will be working with our home gym, Schwinn Force by Bowflex. That's what we have in the house. That's what we are going to try using. Today we will be working with our back and biceps. Tomorrow we are going to be using our chest and tricep. Is that right? That's right. Yes, that's right. All right, you guys, back and biceps right now. Let's get it going. All right, to start off, we're going to be doing the seated pull. This is going to work your deltoids, your rhomboids, some of your traps, and your lats to get that cobra back, that V back. You want to make sure you have a straight back breathing make sure you breathe exhale inhale exhale inhale all right this is the single arm lat pull down standing lat pull down this is gonna work your, your deltoids, your lat muscles right here, your rhomboids and your traps. And now she's doing an extra range of motion where you got a little twist to it. You pull down and slightly twist. Pull down and slightly twist. Excellent. Make sure you get a good stance. Reach for the sky. Keep your head in one position. Don't look down. And it's definitely working some of your biceps as a secondary muscle. twist gives you a little bit of extra range of motion the biceps so you want to get a nice good stance you want to activate your core muscles keep a strong back and do three sets of 10 but for video purposes we're just going to do one set of 10 ready go Activate the core, have a strong back, and you're just pivoting your forearm. And, um, go down for full range of motion, back up. Your elbow is your pivot point. Keep your elbow tucked into your side. Alrighty, now we're moving over to the hammer curl variation than the bicep. You're still working the biceps as a secondary muscle, but it's mainly your forearm. And she's gonna just slightly change the way she's holding it. This is for biceps. This is a hammer curl. This will mainly be working here. Still some of your bicep, but mainly it'll be really feeling it in the forearm. You wanna activate your core, keep a strong back, Keep that elbow tucked into your side. Don't move that elbow. You 
feel that? Remember, stand straight, strong back, activate the core. Feeling in your forearm? Yes. Ooh. Give me a little dance. What's up? No dancing. There you go. <laughs> now we're moving over to the straight bar bicep curl. You want to have a strong stance. Um, you want to activate your core, have a strong back. And we're going to do three sets of 10, but for video purposes, we're only going to do one. This is definitely going to work your bicep, some of your forearm as a secondary muscle but you'll really feel it in your bicep as long as you keep that tucked into your hip. Don't, that's your pivot point. Three, two, one. Good job. Now can you get a dance? Can we get a little something song? I like to dance. Yeah. All right, back and biceps done for the day. Tomorrow we are gonna do the try and the chest. See you tomorrow, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. You see my paper and my pen? Yes, I had two meetings, like literally back to back from 1.30 to 2 and then 2.30 to 3.30. So I was in there for, I uh, will say one hour and a half. And I used that time for my warm up. Yes, my warm up walking. Yeah, most of the time I just walk. And believe it or not, I had, ooh, one, Maybe two miles of just walking for almost two hours, one and a half. One and a half time of being by yourself, doing work at the same time, taking care of yourself, right? Yes, that's warm up for me. I'm heading out to the Bowflex for my day two. Day two. Thanks.